there, guys. Welcome to Let's Draw. That's right. We're back to it with drawing on beautiful... I forgot my pencil. Pencil. I can't believe I forgot the most important drawing tool besides the paper. I got the colored pencils, though. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Because today, we're going to be drawing the man, the myth, the legend, the string bean. Oh, you can't even see him that well. Senpai. Yes, today is his birthday day, so we're going to be honoring him by drawing him. It's going to be amazing. I can't believe I haven't done a let's draw on him, but I'm really glad I'm doing it now. And I'm going to be drawing my version of him, which is a bit different than the usual one. The one we're all accustomed to. So, to begin with, he has a nice oval head. There we go. And it's going to be like that. And then let's zoom in here so you can see more detail. Look at that. There is the amazing little head. It's kind of rounder than his usual appearance, but this is my rendition, so he is a bit rounder. But he still has a really great nose. And a little smile. Aww, that's so sweet. And then we can erase this part because the lower part of the face is done. We still have to do the eyes. Oh boy. The eyes can be tough sometimes, let me tell you. But we start off with the. <laughs> Someone just sneezed. We start off with the line. It's kind of crooked here. I had gosh darn sneeze in the background. But. Here we go, and then there we go, and then it just still seems a bit crooked. I know it's not perfect, Tana Montana told me that, but I want to make it at least a little like that. And then we have a little half circle. It's not perfect, but we're going to fix that up because I just got to do, it goes down a bit instead of like that. Because Senpai's eyes were like that in real life, which is really cool. But... Let's make that a bit smaller, like that. There we go. Because Senpai had small eyes in real life. Or maybe they were average-sized eyes and he was just a big person. I'm not sure, but they're smaller than normal, and that's fine. Smaller eyes are great. It's better than the huge eyes of Anna and Elsa here. Many, many minutes later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then... It's still a bit... Kind of off, but you know what? This is, you can't even see anything now, but this is good for now. I am satisfied. It doesn't have to be on the same level. It's okay. And I don't want to have to draw eyes for the next five million minutes, so we're going with that. All right, make sure the lines are all erased here. And now we have to do his head. And I should probably make this a bit smaller. Because then he'll have a really big forehead, and he did not have a really big forehead. So, like that. There we go. And then just fix this corner line right here. Now it's time for his hair. I love doing his hair. It's, well, we should do his eyebrows first. There's one line. There's the other. Oh, he's so shy. He's shy, nice, and beautiful. There we go. And now we have to go, like, a swoop here, a swoop there. Then I swoop there, and then, oh, I should fix this part in the head here. But the bangs are going to be amazing. We should probably just leave this, because the bangs are going to be in the way. But they are so great. A swoosh there, a swoosh there, swoosh, 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 swooshity, swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. The little thing right there. See, it is amazing. I love those bangs. They are so great. And then the e well, his ears were bigger than usual, so... That's his little quirk in my drawings. There we go. And there we go. And then just do that. And then the hair goes from the ear onto there. And it goes onto there. And there's his little part. And then it goes like that. So there is, look at that. He is so great. And now it's time to draw those eyes themselves. So there's a line there. And a line there. And a little dot in there. And then you shade that in. And then there's another man, and then there's a little line right here. Aww, he's so cute! Aw, that's great. Yes, that is amazing. Should probably fix the eye, though. 
I'm gonna go do that. Hold on just a second! A few moments later. There we go. I fixed the eye. It is much better now. Look at him. That's adorable. Very proud of this picture. And then we're gonna lightly do the glasses here. A circle around the eye. And another circle. And then the lines go nose and ears. There we go. The glass was iconic. And now it's time to do the neck. You get kind of a thick neck, so there we go. And then the shoulders. He had broad shoulders, which my drawings don't really do that, but this is some high, so he gets them. He's special. But there we go. And then we're just going to have the collar. It goes around the neck. And then a triangle here, a triangle there, a triangle here, a triangle there. Oh my goodness, it is his collar! And the tie. A little upside down triangle. And it goes like that. And look at that! There is Senpai! That was very easy to draw. And amazing to draw. And let me just check here. Oh, it looks beautiful. It does look very nice. Just gonna do a little bit of erasing here up close. And then we'll get to the coloring! Oh yeah. Alright, so I scanned him in on my computer because I like to have the line art for these. And now it's time to color. We have these colors here. This is dark blue for his eyes. And then we have a peach color for his, you can't even see that. A peach color for his skin. And then we have light blue for his tie. We have yellow for his hair and his glasses. And then we have brown to put in his hair because he was a kind of sandy blonde, so it's not entirely yellow. So that's how I illustrate that with colored pencils. I have a color code for it when I draw him on Photoshop or color him on Photoshop. But we're doing the pencils today. I'm going to be starting with the glasses. And we should just maybe lightly erase these circles here and we'll do that just so this is easier to show up instead of the gray but we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do all of this we're tracing over it and then there's that and then we have that and it goes like that, and then it goes here, and then it goes here. And there are his glasses! So, I have to erase a little bit on the bottom here, just so it doesn't seem weird. And we want the gold to stay, oh, nothing gold can stay outside of his reference! <laughs> but yeah, we want the gold to stay unlike that, so... And it looks beautiful. This top is a little shaky here, so we'll just do that and then like that. And that is perfect. And now I'm going to do his eyebrows. He has light colored eyebrows. And there we go. That looks pretty good. And then we'll kind of erase it because they were light colored, so there we go, it gives that effect erasing it, it looks very nice and now we have to do his hair, so we'll start with the yellow and we'll put the yellow in through most of the hair here just swirl it around get in there good all that gorgeous yellow hair beautiful blonde and there we go, and now the touch of brown to illustrate the sandiness and we'll just go into here color it lightly so it doesn't look like it's all big blobs of brown mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. coloring it in it looks so beautiful and wonderful and nice and there we go that, well, that looks so good amazing and now we have to do the darker blue of his eyes. This is blue, right? Yes. Sometimes you mix up purple for blue or blue for purple and then you just get really sad. <laughs> but we got it right. Now he's going to color the coloring part here. This little part of the eye. And then we'll do this part. And 
There we go. And now it looks kind of weird. So we have to make the darks of the eyes, the pupils, we have to make those a bit darker in here. And there we go. It looks so nice now. There. That's good. And now we have to do the tie. So the tie is light blue. And I'm really glad he always wears a white shirt because you don't have to color that in. So thank you, Senpai, for making coloring a bit easier for everybody. And did you know there's actually a painting of Senpai that someone actually colored themselves back, I think it was after Senpai died, but it's a real painting that was in the Wadlow house. It is amazing, and he is blonde there. So there is our first actual blonde vidins, as I call it. But there are a lot of written blonde videos. Look at the top of his head! <laughs> but this was the first to actually, well, and there's color footage, but you can kind of say it could be brown. But this is the first visual, definitive blonde videos. It is amazing. It is beautiful. Found that last year on eBay. I hope whoever has that is taking very good care of it and putting it in their home with pride, because that is a treasure. So there we go. We have finished our little treasure tie here. Let's just do this a little bit here. And now we have to do the skin color. And Senpai was very pale, so we'll have to do this lightly. So start here with a little neck, like that. And then we'll go into the ears here, and we'll do that. And then we'll just color the face here. Color in below the eyes and all around, very lightly, because Senpai, he liked the sunshine, but he was always pale. He liked staying inside as well, like staying in there and sewing and reading. It was a nice time, hanging with the siblings. Speaking of the siblings, I have a new Senpai fic on Tumblr. If you didn't know, I like to write little fan fictions of Senpai and his siblings, the adventures they could have had. It's really fun, and there's a new one on there, because the anniversary of his um, 19th birthday is today, the 85th anniversary, and that was a surprise party. So I kind of incorporated real life into the story. It's really great, and I will leave that link in the description if you want to read that. Settle down with a nice, cozy web book. But here we go. I think it looks good, and it does look good. It's hard to tell because it's so light, but I think we got it. And just doing it right here. And there we go! Look at that! Senpai is great. Just gotta touch up over here. And the little eye right there. The glasses zone. And now I think, check it over again. Check it once, check it twice like Santa. We are good. It is done, finally. So here is the finished artwork. Maybe if we put it up here, you'll be able to see it better. There we go. Oh, there is the drawing. It is adorable. And now we're going to be signing it. So Brit. Ish. Oh, why is there a space there? I did not mean to do that. My goodness. It is all one word. Check. Oh, nine. And then the date is a really cool date. Two. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. It's an awesome date, and that will not happen again until 2033. So savor this while you can. And then, um, I think that's it. We usually put the date in the corner here, when we do non let's draw stuff, so I'm just gonna do that because it's so good. There we go. And now we are done with this let's draw episode for today. You can check out the previous one, that'll be in the end screen. And you can also comment, like, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon, more senpai videos, more let's draw videos every once in a while. And you can also follow us on. 
Tumblr and check out our Senpai tag on there and all the fix. And then also DeviantArt on Instagram. And we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Happy birthday, Senpai! Bye bye.